hallelujah, hallelujah, praise your name, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Thank you, Jesus. You alone are the Lord. You made the heavens, even the highest heavens, and all their starry hosts, the earth and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them. You give life to everything, and the multitudes of heaven worship you. Nehemiah 9 and 6. God bless each of you in your respective places. May the eyes of God continue to guide you. Welcome to the powerful, approved, appointed, anointed, prophetic, and God-fearing ministry, the best that God has given me. The best that God has given me ministry is dedicated to spreading the gospel globally. And the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all of the world to witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Matthew 24 and 14, King James. Staying with it, that's what God requires. Stay with it to the end. You won't be sorry and you'll be saved. All during this time, the good news, the message of the kingdom will be presented all over the world. A witness stacked out in every country. And then the end will come, the Message Bible. Through it all, this joyful assurance of the realm of heaven, kingdom will be proclaimed all over the world, providing every nation with a demonstration of the reality of God. And Thank you, Jesus. After this, the end of this age will arrive, the Passion Translation. We invite you, your family and your friends, your ministries and businesses to join us. Share and subscribe to our videos. Video is on both YouTube and Periscope. Seize the moment by partnering with the best that God has given me ministry by sending in tithes, planting seeds, and your prayers. Cash app is Stephanie Great House. Use donation button on jehuradio.com page. The best that God has given me. Phone number is 478-919-3687 and WhatsApp plus one four seven eight nine one nine three six eight seven email us at j who messengers for christ radio at gmail.com we want to take time to thank those who sent in their donations prayer requests ties and testimonies we hear you and appreciate you for all that you do for christ again thank you keep them coming and amen we now turn the services over to God and Apostle Stephanie Greathouse. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We come again before you. Thanking you, Jesus, for being who you are to us. Come on, saints. Let us live like saints with a made-up mind. See, we, we mention weeks after weeks. And if you do not know what time it is, you can take a moment and look around. Take a moment and look around in your family. I want you to take a moment and take a look around and see how things are going within your own family glory to god thank you jesus hallelujah see we, we don't have to look across the waters to see what's going on we can actually look in our own neighborhoods glory to god and if that's not enough take a moment and look around your community how is your community looking today compared to 10 years ago glory to god and if you're still not sure then take a look at the news around the world. See, this is our season. This is the season for the remnant to come forth. And we're coming forth with power and duplication. Because we're reduplicating ourselves and others. Come on here, somebody. Catch on. What, what you see, it, it should cause us to begin to praise God. Hallelujah. With a made up mind. See, with a sort of stubborn spirit. Spirit that says come hell or high water we're going to praise him without ceasing let us praise God until we see our prayers are answered until we have that burden that has been placed in our hearts and on our shoulders about the planet and its condition till it be lifted up off our hearts 
Glory to God. Glory to God. See, the great Jehovah, he continues to answer our prayers of his people. Mm -hmm. You can keep on praying because he's answering prayers. Hallelujah. Our time to show... It's, it's simply, let me say it this way, it is simply our time to show Jehovah how faithful we have become to him. It is our time to remind him how much we seek his forgiveness for taking on other gods before him, for placing situations and circumstances above him and above his name. Glory to God, glory to God. And, and, and are you ready to go? to the throne room. See, I got to ask you because I believe we have an invitation to be to be in his presence this and each and every day. We say it all the time. It is so important that we understand that we have been given the keys. We've been given the keys to the door, to the throne room. And we can come in to daddy and begin, begin to converse with him, begin to learn from him. Hallelujah, glory to God. So we want to come into the holies of holies. We want to come into that throne room. And we want to say, Father, forgive us for anything we might have thought, said, or did that did not please you. Mm-hmm. But not only that, Father, please help us to forgive those who have trespassed against us. See, Daddy, some of us, we need to be healed from others who have hurt us and disappointed us. Father, please assist us in moving forward in your valid will for our lives. Glory to God. We don't want anything to cut us off from you, Father. So, Father, we're going to have to say sometimes, come in and take the hurt, the pain, the disappointment. Take it out of our hearts. Hallelujah. Glory to God that we might be able to go forward and do the will of our Father. I say again, saints, it's time for us to go into the room, the throne room of Jehovah in the grace he has provided us. We're also going in his holy boldness. See, we're going in his faith that he has afforded us. Glory to God. Help us to remain faithful to you as your children and you as our God to us. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. See, this is our season to begin to communicate with our God. Let us admire him as our only God. See, we, we must allow Jehovah to heal us and the earth globally. Glory to God. Because it doesn't benefit us if we're the only ones that's healed. And we're dealing with other people and they're not healed. Glory to God. That's no balance there. But our God is a God of balance. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So that's why we thank you for having a never-ending love for your creation. Oh, give God some glory right there. We'll wait. You can give him glory right there because he has a never-ending love for us in spite of ourselves. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, see, your love remained faithful even when we were disobedient to you disobedient to your laws when we had not been born yet huh? when we did not know you existed when we were not however in a position to serve you before we realized that you meant all things for our good mm -hmm. but God you still yet loved us wow hallelujah but you still had a never ending love for us who you created in your image. Now, Father, we thank you for the good, the bad, even those situations and circumstances that we don't even understand. We trust in your will for our lives. We trust your infinite wisdom against our limited understanding. See, we wait for your direction to manifest in our lives. We shall not be moved without you leading us with your eyes. We promise God, hallelujah, to trust you and to allow you to show us like you instructed Moses and the children of Israel. 
See, every time they needed you, you were there to assist your people. You remained faithful to us, Almighty One. Do, do us like your relationship with Moses and the children of Israel. Continue to teach us how to remain loyal to you, God. Glory to God. See, this is why I say it's time to go to the throne room of grace with praise and worship by reminding him of the names and the characters that we know him by. Glory to God. Glory to God. I have a list here, but I know he's done something for you that you have an intimate name for him, an intimate character for him. Glory to God. And so when you call it, he called, you're calling it in such a, a profound way that he knows you. And he like a baby. When a baby cry, that mama know if that baby's crying because it's hungry. She knows she's crying because she's thirsty. She knows she's crying just because she woke up and want to be held. Mm. But we serve that same type of God. He knows. Mm. He knows us better than we know ourselves. So this is why we say to him, mm. God, you are holy. You are awesome God. See God, we know one thing about you. You true to your word. Father, see, you steadfast, unmovable, always abounding. Hallelujah for your people. You you're a loving God and 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 you're merciful. See, I get excited when I get to telling him about himself. You're full of grace, God. You're glorious. Hey, glory to God. You're mighty. Uh-huh. See, you are just judge, God. Hallelujah. When the earth would judge us, hallelujah, according to their biases and their prejudice. You are a just judge. You are a righteous. You're beautiful. Huh? And you're good. Glory to God. Glory to God. You're tender hearted towards your creation. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're faithful to us. Uh -huh. You are a forgiving God. And that's just the name of few. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because what we're learning day by day, there is another name we can put up there that would better describe you than just God. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, God. Let us tell him now why he is so good all the time. Can we continue to get into with our God again. Glory to God. Glory to God. God, despite ourselves and others, your remnant will allow for your forgiveness to manifest in our lives. We're claiming we're your remnant. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we shall proclaim your greatness. We shall proclaim your name around the world. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your remnant is standing still for marching orders. God, we're standing still, hallelujah, that your word would manifest in our lives, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, glory to God, thank you, Jesus, bless your holy name, God, thank you, Lord Jesus, glory to God, glory to God, see, we're going to allow your visions huh, mm, to manifest for our lives, glory to God, thank you, Lord Jesus, see, because you are a rock, Mm -hmm. you, you are refuge you, you are strength when the storms come you are sung in weary and sad times huh? you are our portion and our cup mm. you are my joy you are my glory mm. you're my hiding place in the middle of a storm God in the middle of a tsunami, in the middle of a hurricane. You're my hiding place, God. My God and my all and all. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're my strength. And you're my treasure. Mm. You're my father. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. You're my justification. 
I don't have to justify my actions because you have already justified me before the foundation of the world. You're my righteousness. Glory to God. You're my sanctification. Hallelujah. Glory to your holy name, God. You're my defense, God, for everything I can think and do. You're my defense. You're my provider, God, in times like these. You're my provider God hallelujah glory to your name Jesus you're my salvation you're my savior of the world see glory to God when the waves would raise up huh? raging storms would come you would always be my salvation you're the same God yesterday today and always and if you were my salvation back then mm, 30 years into a relationship with you, you are still my salvation. And I thank you for it in Christ Jesus' name. Jehovah is increasing our level of praise daily. We need the anointed praise of God. That anointing that will release miracles of Jehovah in our life and others' lives. We must continue to expand our level of recognition daily to see the type of benefits we seek. See, we are seeking, hallelujah, more than the 500 major miracles. I don't know about you, but I know for a fact, hallelujah, there's some people out there under the side of my voice that stand in need of a miracle today they stand in need of a miracle and we serve the miracle work in God and if we could come together in unity if we can put our minds on him if we could exalt his name if we can lift him up if we could praise him we can make his name great again in the earth and people will walk in miracles hey the miracles that was needed to him, afforded to him by the by Jesus dying on the cross. After all, Jehovah is the same God yesterday, today, and always. He has no respect for a person. If he did it for one, he would do it for us all. We praise you. We will always bless you. Glory to God. Glory to God. See, God, we will continue to worship you in good times and bad times. We adore you, God. We love you. We shall love you. Only you as our God. Hallelujah. We shall magnify you. And your marvelous works. We shall magnify your name God. And when we seek you. We shall seek you for your guidance. Hallelujah. In our life. In our situations. And our circumstances. We desire you and your ways. To manifest in our lives God. Hallelujah. We shall remain trustworthy to you. We bow before you. Your glory. Oh majestic one. Hallelujah. We have our eternal hope in you, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Uh, see, we long for you and your eternal presence in our life. Uh, we acclaim you and your works daily. We will glorify you, Almighty One. Uh, see, we hunger and thirst for your greatness in our life today. Glory to God. Glory to God. We shall continue to exalt you despite of what is gone haywire in our life. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, God. Bless your holy name, God. You're so worthy. You're so worthy to be lifted up, God. We thank you, God. We thank you for your mercy and your grace, huh? We thank you for your healings. We thank you for your miracles. We thank you for signs and wonders. We thank you for the Azusa training. We thank you for the revival being restored back in the land. We thank you for the campground being rejuvenated once again. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Glory to God that people are being healed just through the sound of our voices. But they're going to begin to come. Hallelujah. Glory to God. See God.
for defeating the corrupt governments of this world. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. We come thanking you for defeating the corrupt governments around the world, God. <laughs> See, we thank you for saving world leaders globally because unless they get saved god they won't see what they've done they won't even care about the harm that they're doing but god if you could save them if you could touch their minds and their hearts god if you could just save them god hallelujah glory to god glory to god lose salvation throughout their home through their palaces hallelujah through every office building through their privacy of their homes and their spouses and their children god we need you and your spirit of salvation to be released all over the world that there will be a change in the people's hearts god hallelujah glory to god god we come thanking you for the elections Hallelujah, glory to God, that they will not be tampered with. The results huh, will be accurate. Every time somebody go to tamper with the voting, whether they're tampering with machines, that somebody would catch them. Hallelujah, glory to God. When they try to do technology, hallelujah, that the technology would fail. Hallelujah, glory to God, glory to God. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, that when the people get to the election polls they will be allowed to vote there will not be hallelujah turnarounds but the people are coming out in droves they're coming out because it's time for a change it's time for our lands to be healed it's time for every country to walk in a new level of love God and that's going to take a transition of the changing of the guards of those that are in authority in this hour at least they think they are but God, we know, hallelujah, you can do all things but fail us. Hallelujah, glory to God. Father, we thank you that curfews are lifted globally around the world. Hallelujah, that the men and women of God, hallelujah, their families and friends and communities, they can get that freedom back because of who you are, God. Hallelujah, glory to your holy name, God. Mm. Thank you for defeating COVID-19, influenza, flu, pneumonia, common cold, and other diseases like that of the respiratory system. Father, we thank you right now. Hallelujah. Glory to God that the people's immune system is getting stronger. The white blood cells are multiplying and they're getting stronger. They're fighting. Hallelujah. Every disease. Hallelujah. That you created them to fight in the mighty name of Jesus. Their strength equals in the white blood cells hallelujah glory to god glory to god i see i see your mother you're still laying on that bed with that broken leg but i claim jesus as your savior you claim jesus as your savior god is able to heal hallelujah he's able to heal hallelujah you're gonna get up within seven days you're gonna get up out that bed and you're gonna walk hallelujah you're not gonna be hurting as bad hallelujah glory to god thank you for it in christ jesus name god mend the bones of the elderly hallelujah around the world god make their bones strong god and not brittle hallelujah call that bone marrow to do what it's supposed to do within our bodies in christ jesus name glory to god glory to god mm. Hallelujah. We thank you for healing those with breathing problems like asthma. Hallelujah. Glory to God. COPD, black lung, and similar health problems. Glory to God. Father, we know even if they need a lung transplant, Father, we know you can go in and heal that lung. You can go in and remove the scarring tissue in the lung. You can go in, God, and remove black smoke 
out the lungs you can go in God and cause those lungs to operate like you ordained for them to operate they can get 98% and better hallelujah glory to God of oxygen throughout their bodies by deep breathing in that pure oxygen that you have given them hallelujah because you're healing your people God you're healing our breathing God in the mighty name of Jesus glory to God thank you Lord Jesus hallelujah we thank you for replacing and repairing defective hearts hallelujah hearts from holes in their hearts um, healing from irregular heartbeats this includes slow down heartbeats and speeding fast heartbeats glory to God see we come against every heart attack hallelujah glory to god we come against heart disease like the arterial calcification hallelujah and vascular disorders of every kind glory to god bless your holy name jesus hallelujah glory to god hallelujah unclog the veins god hallelujah so the blood can get through and get back to the heart god open up those veins god and open up the arteries god hallelujah cause that heart to beat rhythmly hallelujah like you created it to be hallelujah glory to god bless your holy name god cause the hearts to be strong in the mighty name of jesus mm -hmm. We come against you, Satan, putting your hands to God's people's hearts, trying to stop them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We take every heart and put it in God's hands. And we say, God, repair every heart that needs to be repaired in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. We come against blood disorders. This is going to include low blood or high blood pressures. Glory to God. Abnormal proteins. Hallelujah. In the blood. The amyloidosis. Hallelujah. Glory to the hemophilia. A non clotting blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We're coming against acute leukemia. A type of cancer of the blood and bone marrow which affects the white blood cells we're coming against that now we're coming against the acute lymphoplastic leukemia it is the most common childhood cancer hallelujah it occurs when the bone marrow cells develop error in its DNA God do we know that you created perfect DNA so, Father, we ask you to perform a miracle for those that stand in need of their blood to be corrected all the way down to the DNA. Father, we thank you for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God. We thank you that children that are suffering with cancer, as well as the older people suffering with cancer, Father, that you would increase their faith right now, that they could be leave you to be healing them of cancer in the mighty name of Jesus I don't care what hospital they going to God send an angel in that hospital let there be an angel of God hallelujah standing there tending to hallelujah those that are suffering with cancer in the mighty name of Jesus that they would speak a word of life they would speak a word of healing they would increase their faith to believe you God for all things but failure mm -hmm. thank you Jesus glory to God glory to God thank you father for healing acute my lord leukemia or known as AML a type of cancer of the blood and bone marrow with excess immature white blood cells Hallelujah. The AML progresses rapidly with the, the myeloid cells, interfering with normal white blood cells, red blood cells, and the platelets. See, you got to understand something about our bodies. See, we know 
Hallelujah. Our immune system has come under attack over the years. Hallelujah. But it's going to take God to do the reversal. Hallelujah. In our blood system. Hallelujah. It's going to take God. Hallelujah. To increase our white blood cells, which fights against every infection. Hallelujah. It fights against ever, every abnormality in our body. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And see, cancer is just where the red blood cells, hallelujah, are outnumbering the white blood cells. We need a reversal. We need the white blood cells to outnumber the red blood cells. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Mm. God, we thank you for healing acute promolytic leukemia, or what is known as APL which is a subtype of the AML in which those cells in the bone marrow produces blood cells. Hallelujah. They do not develop, not develop and do not function normally. So Father, we need normalcy. <clears throat> we need normalcy in our blood vessels, in our blood cells. We need you to recreate, hallelujah, the normalcy. We command the blood cells, red and white and platelets, and the bone marrow. We command you to line up with the word of God. You shall, you shall operate like God has built you to operate in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hallelujah, and the buildup of amyloid proteins in our hearts, kidneys, livers, and other organs. Hallelujah, we call for a reversal now in the mighty name of Jesus. Protein will not be so high in your body. Hallelujah, that it attacks your organs, that it overflows into your other organs. The devil is a liar. God created these bodies to be able to complete the task and the journey hallelujah that he had created for us God completed these bodies hallelujah so we would line up with the word of God so that he could work in us and through us hallelujah glory to God and every attack of the enemy we come against you now in Christ Jesus name we thank you God for healing anemia hallelujah condition in the blood which the blood does not have enough healthy red blood cells. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. See, hallelujah. Glory to God. I don't have time to give you the lesson of our bodies. Hallelujah. But glory to God. But hallelujah. Ask God to show you, hallelujah, what we stand in need of. What our family members stand in need of. What our community stand in need of. What this earth stands in need of. Hallelujah. He's faithful. If you seek him out, he's faithful to be found. If you seek Search him out of a pure heart. He's faithful to be found. Uh, thank you for healing deep veins, thrombosis. Hallelujah. Glory to God, which is what still yet a blood clot in a deep vein. Hallelujah. Usually in the legs. And the problem with that is it'll clot up your legs. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The problem with blood clots. Hallelujah, they can break free in your body and travel to your lung and block your breathing. Hallelujah, this is why we come against blood clots. In the mighty name of Jesus, we command, hallelujah, your blood not to get so thick that it's clotting as it's traveling through the veins and the arteries. Hallelujah, your blood in your veins to get thin. We command that heart to beat so hard that it forces, hallelujah, glory to God, your veins to open up. See, I'm looking at somebody's veins. Hallelujah. And I'm looking at the blood as it's trying to get through the vein. And it's thick. And it's clogged up. It's thick. You should have a hole this big. But the doctor told you your hole was that big. Hallelujah. It's going to take God to reverse it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. That our God is able to 
to reverse it. Do you believe? Do you believe our God? He's made it. He's made us for healing. Do you believe God can heal you? Do you believe he can heal your blood and thin your blood out and expand your veins? Hallelujah. Glory to God. He's going to have that. Your heart. Mm. It's got to beat hard. It's got to beat hard to push the blood through. That's why doctors are saying now we need to exercise because it makes your heart rate go faster. It makes it beat harder. And because it's beating harder, hallelujah, it's moving blockages out of your veins and your arteries. I'm talking about a God that can heal you. They can see exactly where you are. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you for healing diamond black fan anemia. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. This is a disorder that primarily affects the bone marrow. See, the bone marrow is what, hallelujah, feeds your blood cells, whether they're red, white, or your platelets. Hallelujah. That's what builds them. Hallelujah. So the enemy is now attacking the bone marrow in the people's bodies. Hallelujah. So they won't produce the right number of white blood cells. So it won't produce the right numbers of red blood cells. It won't produce the right number of platelets. But Satan, we come against you again by the power of God, by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you need a blood transfusion. I'm not talking about a man's blood transfusion. I'm talking about the blood of Jesus to run back through your bones, to run through your marrow, to run through your veins, to run through your arteries. I'm talking about a supernatural miracle to manifest in your life. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And when you go back, they're not going to know what happened. You just tell them Jesus did it. Hallelujah. And give God the glory. Give him the glory for your supernatural miracle. They want to go in and they want to take this vein and move it around to another part of your body. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to have faith. Hallelujah. To believe God that you don't have to have that surgery, but that particular problem will be delivered. Hallelujah. You will be delivered from it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, Jesus, because you're a good God. See, this is what I mean when I saying God's people we need a blood transfusion from Jesus because just a drop of his blood sanctifies the whole body see just a, blood, a drop of his blood will change hallelujah how our organs respond to us hallelujah glory to God just a drop of his blood will change the flow of our blood through our bodies in the mighty name of Jesus glory to God glory to God thank you for healing Mm. DKC we know that this characteristic congenial hallelujah glory to God it is a rare it's a rare condition classified under a broad spectrum of genetic disorders they don't even know what to call it so that's why anything they don't have a name for it, they're going to put it under there but I know a name that would cause everything to line up. I know a name to call on that would cause for healing to come for. I know a name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. These diseases can often cause bone marrow failure and lung disease. See, your bone marrow has a job to do. Hallelujah. But I'm saying to a God, hallelujah, God told your people all over the world that are dealing with these type of cancers, these type of blood disorders, these bone marrow disorder. Jesus, can you just drop a, just a drop of your blood in the system? Can you put a drop of your blood inside our bodies? Hallelujah. So they will turn around and line up with your word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hemo, chemo, 
mitosis. Hallelujah. That's when we got too much iron. Hallelujah. In the body. We got an iron overload. This is why you don't need to take iron tablets unless they've told you to take them. Hallelujah. Because you'll end up with too much and it will cause another type of problem. Glory to God. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for healing Hodgkin. Hallelujah. Lymphoma. Hallelujah. Cancer of the part of the immune system called the lymphatic system. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Father, we're still coming against every form of leukemia, a cancer of the blood forming tissues hallelujah hindering the body's ability to fight infection hallelujah glory to god glory to god mm. we thank you heavenly father hallelujah glory to god hallelujah for healing leukopenia hallelujah a low level of white blood cells in the blood which can interfere with your ability to fight infections remember i told you that we need these white blood we need these white blood cells hallelujah to fight against infections to fight against COVID-19 to fight against flu to fight against influenza to fight against common cold hallelujah glory to God hallelujah we need our immune system to increase we're going into the colder climates now hallelujah I don't know what part of the world you in but where we are it's about to get what they call winter time Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the enemy has said he's going to affect a whole lot more people. Hallelujah. With COVID-19. We'll see me and all these people listening under the sound of my voice. We said you're a liar. You don't have that kind of power to bring another. To double that wave of COVID-19. But we got power to cancel your assignment for God's people around the world. Everything not like God is got to come down. Everything not like God got to come down. Every knee shall bow. That includes your knees too, Satan. You shall bow down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Mm. Glory to God. Father, thank you for healing my low fibrosis hallelujah even though it's also a rare bone marrow cancer or a blood cancer it still exists some people are struggling with it god hallelujah glory some haven't even been diagnosed yet I even mean, they got it hallelujah they're just beginning to get hallelujah some information about it but father you know how to turn these cancers around i don't care if they got 50 million of them out there with names and got 50 million that don't have a name you're a cancer healer hallelujah you're a cancer healer get it out hallelujah glory to God and we trust you God to heal your people we trust you God to heal us from every form of cancer hallelujah every other disease hallelujah everything hallelujah that's an enemy to our bodies that's trying to attack our bodies so that we don't go through hallelujah and finish our destiny that we don't follow through her with the things that you commanded us to do the devil is a light. We shine a light on you. Hallelujah. You will no longer be able to hide because everything that's in the darkness it must come to the light. In the mighty name of Jesus. None hot chickens. Lymphonia. Hallelujah. It's still a cancer that starts in the lymphatic system. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We come against the paranicotis. Hallelujah. Anemia. It's the B12 deficiency. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Pulmonary embolism. Hallelujah. Condition in which one or more arteries in the lungs become blocked by a blood clot. We just explained to you the importance. 
hallelujah, to make sure, hallelujah, that you pray about your blood, that your blood stays thin, that your blood will continue to flow through your body. It will take on the proper amount of oxygen and they will carry to the different organs. Hallelujah. No blood clots in your veins. No blood clots in your arteries. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Bless your holy name, Jesus. We come against sickle cell disease. Huh? It's a group of disorders that causes red blood cells to become misshapen and break down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They call it sickle cell because that red cell is supposed to be round. But this cell, it folds over and it looked like a sickle. It looked like a farming instrument. Hallelujah. That's a curve or a half moon. or Hallelujah. Glory to God. But we come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. Matter of fact, everyone. Hallelujah. The blood cells that have folded over. Mm. Mm -hmm. Our God unfolds it. Unfold it, God. And cause those red blood cells to take on the shape of the circular motion that you had created it to do in these last and evil days. We're going to see these type of miracles. We're going to see miracles where doctors cannot explain. Hallelujah. But you know, ain't nobody got in your body. I know I say ain't nobody got in your body, but Jesus and did what was needed. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we thank you for healing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Your Venus. Uh, uh, thrombin, thrombin, embolism. Mm. Veins. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The blood clots in the veins. And they're often huh, underdiagnosed and severe. Yet it is a preventable medical condition. But if left untreated, can cause disability and death. Because it is in your veins. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But it's still what? A blood clot. And it's blocking the blood flow to your body, to your legs. Hallelujah. To your feet, to your toes. Glory to God. And when it gets so big, it'll break loose and travel through your body. Because it's like a dam has been blocked up. Hallelujah. And then when the dam breaks, the water just run right through. That's just how these blood clots are, uh, operate inside our bodies. We must come against the blood clots that the enemy has tried to put on us. Hallelujah. We must turn around and begin to eat right. Hallelujah. You bring our cholesterol levels back down, Jesus. Bring our body weight back down, God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Everything not like you, God. Reverse it. Hallelujah. It was our fault, God. We made the mistake. But God, you are able to turn it around for our good. Glory to God. Glory to God. Bless your holy name. We're coming against every blood disorder known to man. Even those blood disorders that have not been diagnosed or discovered or named yet. I know our God is able. You know our God is able. We believe God is coming against Hallelujah, the challenging diseases that are plaguing God's people in this hour. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God, glory to God. Bless your holy name, God. Bless your holy name, Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for that prophetic words for us to grow by. Remain encouraged and strong in Jesus Christ as you continue to work for the Lord. Remember, it is not too late to turn around and give your life to Christ. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, you can. Repeat after me, please. Father, I come to you now in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. We confess that we are sinners. We ask you to forgive us for our sins and we promise to follow obey and accept your son Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. We ask you Jesus Christ to be the Lord of our life and to be our Savior. We receive you now as our Lord and Savior with our hearts. Great. Welcome to the kingdom of God's family. The angels are rejoicing for you have returned to our Father and it is so. 
Now connect yourself to a Bible teaching ministry and get to know your father. Backsliders, it is okay to return to God. He is married to you and he eagerly awaits your return. He is receiving you back right now. Maybe there's someone that may be sick. The word of God says he sent his word and healed them from their destructions. Psalms 107 and 20. Place your hand on whatever part of your body that need a touch. Remain close to your device. Embrace the healing warmth of God. And Lord, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now for bringing us here today, Lord. We thank you for life, health, and strength. We thank you for sound mind and activities of our limbs, Lord. We ask that you forgive us for anything we said or did that was not pleasing unto you. And we ask that you heal our bodies, let everything line up according to your word. Let our organs work accordingly. Let the blood flow and heal us from any sicknesses, illnesses, or diseases and bind up any and everything that the enemy may have against us. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Now, perhaps Jesus is leading you to partner with us monthly for as little as $30. That is only a dollar a day or a one-time offering of $30 seed or maybe a different amount Jesus has placed on your heart. Obey Jesus and go to one of the different ways to make your tax-free donations or plant your seeds. Go to our websites, jehuradio.com and the Best God Has Given Me tab or https colon backslash backslash donorbox.org slash the best that God has given me ministry. Cash app is the Messengers of Christ Radio Network, LLC, or Stephanie Greathouse. Mail, 2929 Watson Boulevard 2, 171, Warner Robins, Georgia, 31093. May God return it to you 100-fold before it leaves your hands, and it is so. Prophetically speaking, we know we help someone break free from the lies and deception. This word will continue to resonate in your emotions, finances, minds, motivations, and spirits down through eternity. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of Jesus. Now share these weekly messages with others wherever you go. Remember, always use the best that God has given unto you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.